Hello, my name is Adam Winrich, and this is a quick video about a routine I perform in my shows at the Renaissance Festivals around the country, known as, um, I don't really have a name for it, I just kind of uh, used to think of it as the world's most difficult two-handed whip cracking routine. It isn't really, but uh, compared to the other stuff I do in my show, it's pretty cool looking. Features a lot of, lot of releases, features a, a tosses up in the air, uh, around my neck, under the leg, and uh, a catch behind the back. And uh, the whips I usually use for this routine are a pair of uh, five-foot uh, performance hybrid style whips from whipsandwhatnots.com, made by Conrad Rustenberg. So I'm going to give the routine a try. It's been a while since I've uh, done some shows, so I'll see if I can get through the whole routine. And then I'll just break down some parts. Of course, the end of the routine, spinning your uh, whips like tassels is optional. Alright, so I'm going to try to just break down some of the pieces of that. I'm not going to try to explain the whole routine. Now, there's a few different routines that I learned that create up uh, this whole routine. Most difficult to end a whip cracking routine. One of them uh, was created by Ben Hughes, the uh, Tasmanian and Australian whip cracking champion. Uh, he called, it's a routine of his called Confusion. And that's how I get into the toss up here and crack it underneath my armpit there. So the basic idea of confusion is that, see, I'll do um, a fast figure eight, Tasmanian cut back in one hand, sweep the whip across and crack it there. And while I'm doing that, in my right hand, I'm going to do a slow figure eight. In the other hand, toss the whip up and catch it. Here that goes again. Do, do, bang, bang, bang. And that's uh, the first toss. And then once I've caught it, I get here. I'm going to do sort of a sweeping out crack like that. Uh, crack it behind me. Sweep it forward. And then I'm basically into the Queensland crossover. So once I've caught that, I'm kind of back into uh, the Queensland crossover. I'm going to do a little bit with the Tasmanian cutback. And then do Wilkes' Wonder. Well, a slight version of Wilkes' Wonder. Wilkes' Wonder created by Fiona Wilkes, uh, arguably the best ladies whip cracker in the world. She's uh, done whip cracking for a number of years, very talented. And it just features a release around the neck. Now, if you want to see how it's really done, you got to ask Fiona. Uh, but the version that I got is I'm going to do uh, sweep the whip around, crack it behind my back, and then come up with a flick. Come up with a flick right after I catch it. So we've tossed it up in the air. I've come around my neck. Now I'm going to do the breakaway in each hand. Then a fast figure eight. And as I come out of the fast figure eight in my right hand, I'm going to throw the whip under my leg and catch it. So you can kind of see how that went. I went under my leg, under my leg, caught it. Sometimes I catch it under the leg, catch it here. And now there's a bunch of different ways to get more cracks. Uh, some guys out there are really talented with uh, whip tossing and cracking, like uh, Todd Rex and uh, Aaron Bonk. Uh, but here's the one I've been doing for a while. Once I catch it like this, I'm just going to lift the whip up a little bit and just bring my arm down and forward really hard, making this sort of 
funny angled hairpin shape right there. That's a toss under the leg, so we toss it up in the air, around the neck, under the leg. And then the last catch is going to be behind the back. Now, uh, <clears throat> I've worked out a couple different behind the back catches. First, just catching behind the back. Just do a fast figure eight. And stick your hand out right here and catch it. There were two whips when I worked out with the behind the back catch. Is I usually do um, kind of a little bit of the mind bender or the changing eights. Do a slow figure eight in my left hand, fast figure eight, toss up. And then as once I've tossed the one whip up in my right hand, I'm going to toss the whip up in my right hand and so I'm going to pass the other whip that was in my left hand over to my right hand leave freeing up my left hand to make that catch. Yeah, something like that. And I also add an extra turn in there just to uh, help with the flow of the routine. I guess the final toss uh, would be a tribute to Vince Bruce, where I toss both whips up at the same time and clap my hands. Yeah, if you don't know who Vince Bruce is, look him up. Um, he's uh, featured in both uh, two Mark Allen DVDs, The Art of the Bull Whip and The Best of Trick and Fancy Roping. Uh, Vince was the greatest, uh, the, the greatest Western act of the 20th century, pretty much. That's probably putting it lightly. But uh, so here I'll try. So you've seen uh, we've got the yeah, toss up here, run around the neck, under the leg, behind the back, and then at the end toss both whips up at the uh, same time. I think I put enough in here so you can work out all those routines. You can work out your own transitions trying to get from one routine to the next. Well, let's see if I can get through the whole thing again. Let's start with both whips together. And we go around the outside, behind the back, up into the air, under the arm, behind the back again, and around the neck, and under the leg. All of that usually gets a larger response. Yep, I learned this move from watching Magic Mike. Well, there's a lot of whip cracking routines in there for you, Cameron Cato. Thanks for watching. My name is Adam Winrich. If you want to learn more about me or buy my whip cracking instructional DVDs, check out winrichwhips.com.